Okay, good afternoon everyone. I'm so sorry for the delay. I had something to do in the morning. So let's start. Today, listen to my instruction. All you need is your student book, full blast, and a pencil. Write down your answer on whenever I ask you to do. Do it on your student book and then check when I give you the answer. Okay, clear on that. So you only need your student book today and your pencil. So let's start today. Let's turn to page 40. So today we'll be le learning some vocabulary, some phrases that we can use for shopping. Okay, some that you think is normal, but when you change it into the shopping world, it's different meaning your puyang the isa wang nam ano yang perlainan so before that let's look at page 40 section a can you all look at page 40 section a so section a is a complete the sentences with the words of phrases in the box okay so you can look at the screen right now so what you need to do is you need to first understand the meaning of all of these phrases okay the first one remember we are talking about shopping 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 class the first one afford afford means the second one cash machine oh sorry class uh, okay I don't know why my setting is at this. Anyway, okay, now the next one. Cash machine. Cash machine means T Kwan G machine ATM. The third one, change. Okay, the meaning here change bukan maksud berubah kaipen no? Pusatipe or kaipen no? The meaning here is sentien. Maksudnya ialah duit kecil. Okay? Ataupun duit baki ya, sorry. Sentien, uh, sorry. Duit baki lebih betul ya. Okay, next one. 或者是剩钱，或者是找钱的意思，他找回给你的钱。Okay, dia ada dua maksud di sini, duit baki ataupun duit kecil, dua maksud ya. But dalam latihan hari ini maksudnya ialah duit baki. 这边它有两个意思，一个是省钱，一个是找钱。但是它有两个意思，但是呢，在今天我们要做的，它的意思就是说找找来找回来的钱。Okay, next one broke, 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 you do your notes, buat nota, cuo pici. Different meaning. Because shopping, right? So, got S. What's the meaning? Zi pi. Duit kertas. Okay. Next one. Cash. Cash is sian jing wang tu nai. Next one. Charge. Charge here is a verb. Okay. You say verb. Okay. Same hit here. Change. The meaning change here is not a uh, verb. It is a noun. Okay. So, charge is so fei, mengenakan bayaran kepada orang lain. So, it's a verb. Next one, even though it has a P there, it's not receipt. It is receipt. The P is, a, is silent, yeah? So, it's receipt. So, what's the meaning of receipt? So, G, receipt. Next one, an arm and a leg. Uh, this is a simpulan bahasa meaning, hen kui, sangat mahal. Next one, exchange. Exchange means huan, tukar. And the last one, coins, means ying pi, duit shilling. So, what do you do right now? You go, I've already explained all the meanings. So, on section A, based on all, okay, based on all these words, fill in the blanks for question 1 until question 8. I repeat. For section A, fill in those blanks from question 1 until 8 with all of these words. Now, you can pause the video and do it and come back after you finish and we will check the answer. Okay, thank you class. Now, let's check the answer. Thank you for doing it. Number 1. And this motorbike, you look at your book, yeah, class? And this motorbike wasn't really ch exactly cheap. Maksudnya, tidak 
Pusa Pianyi Chip. Tidak uh, murah. In fact, he paid. What is the answer? Means not cheap means very expensive. Meaning sangat mahal hang kui. So question number one. The answer is an arm and a leg. Question number two. Now, we I haven't got any on me. On me means saya was sensang di uh, uh, sekarang saya ada, okay? Tak ada, uh, sekarang ada dalam saya ada apa ya? I haven't got any tak ada duit, mewujian. I haven't got any cash. Okay? Can I pay by? If you don't have cash, what do you pay with? You pay with a credit card. Okay, me or change the sonic yung sing yung ka credit card that I do come on a credit card unto buyer. Question number three don't use red pen to buy a class, use your pencil only. Change the answer. We need to what some ringgits into dollar means you want to change your ringgits into dollar. So the answer is Juan to car exchange. Question number three. Let's go to question number four. Sheila can't what to buy a new game console because she is what means she cannot buy. Cannot buy means don't have enough money. So she cannot buy means fupuchi ta mampu. So she cannot afford because she started do it. Miu chen la broke. Question number four. The answer is broke. Afford and broke. Next one. Question number five. What blank are much lighter, kencing lebih ringan than what? Therefore, they are more convenient. C O N V E I V E N I E N T. Convenient. Fang pian. Lebih senang. Form of money. So which one is more heavier? Notes or coins. So we know coins are heavier. So notes are lighter. So notes. Zipi, duit kertas, are lighter than than what? Then, which one is heavier? Coins, right? Coins. Okay. Do comparison. Question number six. Here are your shoes. And okay, after you pay the 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 cashier say, here are your shoes and RM five sixty. Cao hui lai de qian duit baki kamu. So the answer is change. Number six. The answer is change. Number seven. Your ah sorry sorry continue. Number six. Your what is in the bag? Your Okay, after you get the money, usually you will get a receipt. Remember, the P is silent. Your receipt is in the in the back. Number seven. I wanted to get some money from the... You, if you want to get money, you need to go away and uh, get money from the ATM machine, right? So, we don't... Another name for ATM machine is cash machine, Okay. I wanted to get money from the cash machine or ATM machine also can. We Malaysian call it cash uh, ATM machine. But I didn't have my cash card. Cash card means your bank card. You don't like a T1, you don't like a bank, the like a card. Okay, the last one. Students and people over 65 means uh, 65 years and above. Tau ko liu se u sui. Okay, melebihi 65 umur tahun can enter the museum free of free of means to pay bayar push your one chain free of charge. Okay, so the phrases meaning free of charge means free, puyong kan chain free to pay bayar. Okay, let's go to the next session. Next session is in section B. Correct or not? Are you ready, class? Okay, these are some of the vocabularies. Pause the video if you need to check your answer in section A again. Okay, welcome back. Let's continue with section B. Section B says, let's look at the student book. Look at the instruction. 
complete the sentences with the words in the boxes. Meaning you need to fill in one uh, question one until question four. Fill in the vocabulary with the four vocabulary above there. Value, price, cost, worth. And question five until nine, fill in with the five vocabulary given there, which is offers, sales, sale, discounts, and bargain. Bargain, okay? So let's look at the meaning. The first meaning. The meaning value here means, okay, different meaning, yeah, class, because we're talking about shopping. Different from the usual meaning that you talk about. So the first word here, value. What is the meaning of value here? 值钱, babaloi. Next one. Price, 价格, harga. Next one. Cost. The cost here meaning it is a, let me check, the answer is, it's a noun, okay, it's a noun. So, hua fei, jumlah perbelanjaan. And the last word for question 1 to 4 is worth, worth, zi berjumlah, okay. So, now, what I want you to do is, you have already understand these four words, value, price, cost, worth. Fill in the blank from question 1 until question 4. Pause your video and do it. And after you finish, come back to this video. Do it now. Pause it now. Okay, welcome back. So, let's check question number 1. Question number 1. What is the answer for question number 1? She sold her car at a reasonable. R-E-A-S-O-N-A-B-L-E. -E. Reasonable meaning... Okay, reasonable meaning... Uh, her cup. Berbaloi. So, reasonable... We only say reasonable price. Okay. Okay, maksudnya tidak terlampau mahal, tidak terlampau murah. 就是不是很贵也不是很合格的意思咯。Uh, Next one. Question number two. The total what of the holiday was 3,000 3, ringgit. Maksudnya jumlah perbelanjaan ni. So, hua fei de zai na in the holiday is 3,000 ringgit. So, question number two is the total cost. The total cost of the holiday was 3,000 ringgit. Question number three. This hotel is lovely and cheap. So, it's great. Great means sangat baik. Hen hao. Okay. Great what? Great value. Sangat great value. Sangat berbaloi. Great value. Zi, hen zi qian for money. Question number four. I entered a competition online and won computer games. Berjumlah. Zi to sao qian. Okay, wo ying hui lai de zi. Naga, 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 uh, qian zi to sao. Apa yang, uh, hadiah saya berjumlah berapa? So, the answer for number four is worth. Worth RM. RM200 or you can say class 200 ringgit. It's either you say RM200 when you are in Malaysia or when you are in India in some other countries is maybe they don't know what is RM. You can say ringgit 200 ringgit Malaysia. Okay. RM stands for ringgit Malaysia. Let's go to question. Okay. Let's go to the new vocabulary for question 5 and, and question until question 9. The first vocabulary. Office. Got S, huh? Office. Maksudnya, you hui. Tawaran. Okay. Next one. Sales. You see, uh, this sales is, got S, this sell, no S, huh? Got different, huh? Listen carefully. The first one, sales. Lian jiao chu shou de shi hou, wo men jiao sales. Masa jualan murah. Sorry, huh? Masa jualan murah. Kita panggil. Sales. Ada S, huh? Got S, huh? But, if we say, Benda ini hen pianyi de uh, chuso. Benda ini di jual ma, uh, murah. You can say, this, this shirt is on sale. 
this shirt is on sale， 就是你在那个东西被很便宜的价钱出售的话，你就用 on sale。但是如果你讲出售，呃，那个廉价出售的时候，我们就用 sales。Apabila kamu cakap benda itu dijual murah kita guna this shirt is on sale， baju ini on sale。Tetapi apabila kamu cakap masa jualan murah kita panggil sales ada s, okay? That's the difference ya kelas. Next discounts, you know what's discounts right? Tata discount, and the last one bargain. Bargain, bargain means 讲价，打玩，门拿玩。So let's. So what you need to do for question number five until nine, put all of、uh, put the vocabularies here. Put、uh, this vocabulary into question five until nine. Pause the video and come back after you have finished. Pause it now. Okay, welcome back. Let's look at question number five. My uncle gets. He always get what on flights because he works at the airport. Gets discount on flights. Flights means. Uh, uh, terbang ya, terbang ke sini sana. Fly, fly, cuci dan naik ke ah flights ya. Question number six. I bought this jacket for RM fifty. What a means very cheap, sangat. Okay, so the bargain here can also mean sorry ya. If it's let's go back ya. I don't want to teach you the wrong thing. Sorry. Bargain here if tawar menawar cang ah cencia is a verb. But if you change, if you change bargain into noun, it means, uh, 很值钱的意思 Class, you need to write down these meanings on your book, yeah, class. If you understand, no need. But if you don't understand, write it down. Maksudnya berbaloi. Okay. So what a very cheap. Wow! What a bargain! What a bargain! Question number seven. All the dresser at the dressmaker are on. Okay, see. Not on discounts. Kalau ham pengi demai cuci dijual murah on sale. Okay, if got in front got on means the sale no s. If no s on in front, the sales got s. You just remember the difference. Next one, question number eight. Do you like my trainers? Trainers is your 紧裤啊。如果你去跑步那种紧裤 ，trainers 是啦，呃呃，除了可带，让他们不能做 ber exercise 一种。Do you like my trainers? I got them in the I got them in the masa 呃，抓烂木啦，出手廉价的，呃，廉价出手的时候 ，I got them in the sales. Question number nine. You should get down. Get down means pergi. Get down means treat. Okay. To style store, it got some great special. Are there special what? You always say special offers. Ah, you always say that right? Special offers got S because a lot of things. So we have to put S. Ini hantu tongsi banyak benda itu lah kita perlu simpan S. Okay, we have finished section B. Pause the video if you need to check your answer in section B. Okay, welcome back. Let's continue with section C. Okay, it's very hard for me to take picture, so let's look. What I have typed out here is exactly from your textbook, your student book. Sorry, so you read. You don't need to look at your student book now. You look at the screen. You can read together with me. Read together with me. Okay. Shop assistant. What is the meaning of assistant? Assistant means pembantu, culi. So shop assistant means people who work in the shop. Shop assistants. Can I help you? Mrs. Swain say no thanks. I'm just browsing. Browsing. I'm just browsing. What is the meaning of just browsing? Kan kan ayi. Tengok tengok sahaja. Next one. Let's look at the second conversation. Okay. I don't like this thing. Eh. Okay, let's look at close ah the second one ah second one. Oh yeah, I really hate. I don't know why. Okay, the setting is like this. Okay, don't look ah, but look here. Hi Terry, check out these DVDs. 
two for a price of one. What's the meaning of two for a price of one? Meaning buying two with the price of buying only one. Tientan I saw. Buy one free one. Secara mudah maksudnya buy one free one. Okay, so two for a price of one means buy one free one. Terry say, cool, let's get some. Mari kita beli, kita dapatkan, uh, uh, let's buy means lah. Maksudnya kita beli. Okay, we have to remember all this green thing. Ah. Later you have to put all this green thing into question one until, until question six. Let's look at the third conversation. Oh my gosh. Okay, I hope this is clear. Okay, I hope this is clear. Oh my gosh. I don't know why the setting is that is. Anyways. Me. Okay. Brendan, excuse me, how much is this tracksuit? Tracksuit is your seluar uh, PJ uh, tu ah. Ni chi in tong ku ah. Chang de ke yang panjang punya. There is no price tag. What's the meaning of price tag? Tanda harga. Ni de ke chen. Ta to sao chen de ke... Okay. Shop assistant say it's RM400. Brandon say thank you. Then what is Cindy say? That's a rip off. That's a rip off. What's the meaning of rip off? Bu zi qian da be ba loi. Meaning tai gui te lalu mahal. Rip off got two meaning. One is te lalu mahal. Okay. Another meaning is I hope you are not thinking of getting it, okay? It costs a fortune. Look at the green one. It costs a fortune. What's the meaning of cost a fortune? means terlalu mahal. Brandon said, I'll try it on first. Where are the fitting rooms? When you go to the supermarket, when you, you change your shirt, when you want to try on the shirt, it's called fitting room, huh? Over there, near the cash desk. Means near the cashier, uh, the, where, where the cashier is at. That's called cash desk. Question number, f the last conversation. Jennifer. Jennifer. Hi, hello, could you tell me about this digital picture frame? Shop assistant say, well, it's 14 inches and it's the latest technology. Okay, technology and terbaru. It comes with a year guarantee. Warranty, guarantee, same meaning. Okay. Great. How much is it? 120. Oh dear, I'm a bit short. A bit short means, oh, saya pendek sedikit. Not that meaning. Ah. What's the meaning of a bit short? A bit short means puko chien. Kerkurangan. Okay. Kerkurangan duit puko chien. Cencen si taip ya puko wai. Betul-betul bermaksud kerkurangan saja. But in this case, in bermaksud kerkurangan duit. Saya cik ke cingkuan jenis haju taip ya puko chien. Cepat cik si si jau puko wai. Sebenarnya bermaksud kerkurangan saja. Are you open tomorrow? Okay. So you see. Can you see? Yes. Okay, sorry. Continue. We are open 24-7. What's the meaning of 24-7? 24-7 meaning? May, what's the meaning of 24-7? May tian setiap hari. What's the meaning of 24-7? May tian setiap hari. How do you know? 24 is 24 hours. 7 is 7 days a week. Meaning every day, whole day. Okay, setiap hari 24 jam. Setiap hari 24 jam. 每天二十四小时. That is called 24-7. What is the shop that opens 24-7 in, in Malaysia? 7-11. Correct or not? Right? Except on public holidays. Okay, so now, can you see all of this? Can you see all of this green color class? I'm just browsing. Two for the price of one. That's a rip off. It costs a fortune. I'm a bishop. We are open 24-7. Okay, class. Can you see all of this green color thingy? Okay, so now I want you to... Uh, question one until question six. There is the meaning there. Huh? There is the meaning there. So, e, can you look which one is the same meaning? For example, number one. It's very expensive. Which one is the meaning of it's very expensive? Can anyone tell me? 
Yes, the answer is it costs a fortune. It costs a fortune. So number one, you have to write it costs and fortune, the green color one. Okay, so you can do question one until six, pause the video and come back after you finish. Okay, thank you for finishing question one until question six. Let's look at number one. Number one, just now we have done already. What is the meaning of it's very expensive? The answer is, the answer is, uh, it costs, sorry. You need to write the whole sentence up because it is phrases. It costs a fortune. Question number two. What is question number two? Sorry, yeah. Let me type it properly. Okay, question number two. Okay, let me space this one. Okay, now. I haven't got enough money. Tada duit. Cukup, tak cukup duit. Pukul chen. So, what is the answer? I'm a bit. I'm a bit short. Next one. Question number three. I'm looking around. Kan kan nai. Tengok tengok sahaja. So what is the answer? I'm only. I'm sorry. The the one we use is I'm just browsing. Next one. Question number four. It's open all day and night. All day and night means all day and night means dua puluh empat jam. Oh, sesuatu sesuatu every day. So what is the answer? We are open twenty four seven. Next one. It's not worth. We learned already just now on top. What's the meaning of worth? Worth means to. Berbaloi. It's not worth that much of money. 不值那么多钱呐，太贵了。大不巴罗，不给多买。大不巴罗呀，特朗普马好。So what is the answer? That's a rip. Okay, because it's in a so adjective, so you to put in hyphen there. Rip off. And the last one, you buy one and you get one free. So two, four. The price of one. Okay. Pause the video if you need to check your answer again in section C. Okay, welcome back. Okay, let's go to the last part of our lesson today. So the last part of our lesson today is a grammar exercise in page 41. A grammar exercise in page 41. Okay, okay. I need to do a bit of adjustment here. Okay, so in page forty-one, there are about four different things that we need to learn. But this one you already know. But just we need to be do a bit of revision. If you want to read more, the grammar explanation is in your student book, page one hundred and sixty-one. Okay, this one I've already summarized for you. Let's go for the first one. A. I would rather. I would rather not. What's the meaning of would rather? Yao ingin. What's the meaning of would rather not? Pu yao ta ingin. So how do you use would rather? After would rather, you need to put a verb. After would rather not, you need to put a verb. For example, I would rather eat. Saya lebih ingin makan. Or I would rather not eat. Saya tak ingin makan. Okay. Wo. I would rather eat. Wo yao chi. I would rather not eat. Wo pu yao chi. Okay. So after would rather, you have to put a verb. Kata kerja tong chi. Okay. If you see here, can you see this part? I would rather if you shorten it. Bahat cian se. Kasi kasi kecil dia, it become Ight. Throw away the W O U L and then put apostrophe. Just leave the D. So I'd rather eat. But in exam, if you are confused, don't do like this. Do like this is also correct. Okay. Or I would rather not eat. Meaning, I'd rather not eat. 
Okay. So let me explain what's meaning of would rather. Would rather means yao ingin. Would rather not means wo pu yao ta ingin. After you use would rather, after that must be a verb. Let's go to the next one. B. You had better. What is the meaning of you had better? When you use you had better meanings, when you want to give warning, kasi amaran, ke jingkau, or strong advice, nasihat yang tegas, hen yen de, hen yen de semua, hen yen de cengkau. Okay, so, kamu ni cuy hao pu yao ah, 就是这个意思。马苏尼亚不给你，卡姆，别讲啊，那，就不给你，马苏尼亚 had better。So let's look at the first one. How to you how to use had better? Had better after that must be a verb. After had better must be a verb. Had better means 最好要做。Lebih baik buat。Or negative with if negative become had better not verb. 最好不要做，千万不要。Strong warning ah, ah, macam amaran ah, hendak yang jingkau jang ah. For example, you better, sorry, so not you better, sorry, you had better. Sorry, cannot be lie. Different meaning already. Ni iting yang cuci yang cua. Kamu mesti buat begini. Kamu mesti makan ni. Iting yang cuci, justru you had better eat. If you shorten it, shorten it, the H A D throw away can put apostrophe. Just leave the D. You'd better eat. But in exam, if you don't know, don't shorten it. Straight away, just write you had better. The next one. Lukon ni, cuci hal pula jangan cuci. Jangan buat begini ya. How to do it? You had better not lie. Kamu jangan tipu ah. Ni punya jangan pengu ah. So how do you shorten it? H and H and A throw away. Left the D. You you'd better not lie. So if you don't know in exam, don't write the. If you don't know straight away, just write you had better. So I repeat, had better meaning. 最好这样做，不要这样做。Begini 啊 ，You had better not. 你最好不要这样子做。Kamu jangan buat begini 啊。That is the meaning. The next one, C and D actually they have the same meaning. Same meaning for C and D. Should and ought to they have the same meaning. Let's look at the first one. Should means ingkai harus. Should not means put in kai harus. After should must put a verb. After should not must put a verb. For example, you should go. Got short form or not? No short form. You should not go. Put in kai chi. Tasa harus ya pergi. Got short form or not? Yes, got short form. What's the short form? S H O U L D. And then after that, you stick together. Can you see stick together? The end stick with the D, and then throw away the O. Change to what? Change to apostrophe, and then T. You shouldn't go. But in exam, if you don't know, straight away write the long one. Any, you should go. You should not go. Okay, I repeat. Should and ought to is the same meaning. Just that should only got one word. If you want to use ought, must have the word to. Okay, so you just remember. After after should the verb must be original. After ought to the verb must be original. After had better, the verb must be original also. Yes, correct. The verb must be original also. Special case, ah, okay. Special case. Special case. And then after would rather also must be original. So would rather had better should. And ought to all after that the verb must be original form. Okay, don't need to think ah. This is special case. Okay, ought to same meaning we should. What's the meaning? Inkai harus. Ought to not. Pu inkai ta harus. Example same meaning. You ought to go. You ought to go. No short form. Here you ought to not go. You ought to not go. Also no short form. Only should got short form. Okay, so let's look at the question there on your student book page forty one. Student book page forty one. Okay, there are six questions given. Question one until six. I give you an example here. I give you an example here. Okay, question number one. 
what do you need to do? For example, it's a good idea to go shopping during the sales. What do you need to change? You see me highlight red color or not? You should. Okay, so meaning, if I highlight means the part is a good idea to, must change to this red color. You should go shopping during the sales. So what do you need to do? Put in all the would rather, put in had better, put in should, put in ought to. Okay, so what you need to do right now is, can you see? Got uh, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. I already all highlight in red color. All the highlight in red color, you need to change into a either put would rather, either put had better, either put should or either put ought to. Okay? Pause the video now, do it and come back after you have finished doing. Pause now. Okay, thank you class. Let's look at the answer. Question number two. You shouldn't, the answer is here already. Yeah? You shouldn't use your great, uh, uh, question number two, uh, question number one already. Yeah? You shouldn't use your dad's credit card without asking me, Pu ke yi yung? Can change to what? Kasi strong warning ke ta henting kau amaran. You had better not. Shouldn't can change to bet, had better not. Ni cuy hao pu ya. Kamu baik jangan buat begitu. Uh. Okay, that's the meaning. Question num number three. It's a better idea to walk than go by bus. It's a better idea can change to what? I would walk. I would rather walk than go by bus. So it's a better idea change to I would rather. Question number four. It's a good idea to ask for a receipt when you buy something. Okay, kamu ingkai, kamu seharusnya. You ought, okay, it's a good idea change to, you ought to ask for a receipt when you buy something. Question number five. Monica doesn't really want to go to the theater. Monica pun siang nyau, tak ingin. Okay. Monica doesn't really want to, can change to, Monica would rather not go to the theater. And the last one, you ought to check this out. Check this out means, kan kan zhe dong si, tingo tingo benda ini. Ought to can change to, you should check this out, okay? So pause the video if you need to check your answer in this grammar section. Okay, that is all for today. After you have finished this lesson, make sure you write your name in the WeChat or WhatsApp group, whichever group you are in. Thank you class, see you tomorrow.